Hello, I'm Steve Pearson of Valve and Process Solutions, the UK's leading stockist distributor for Westlock Controls. This is the second of our short videos about this amazing range of products. This time we're going to be looking at the shaft arrangement inside the Westlock switchbox. Unlike many of our competitors, the shaft connecting the Westlock switchbox to the actuator is stainless steel. It comes with Namur or standard pattern connection to fit almost every actuator on the market. The double o-ring seals allow the beacon to be removed without compromising the integrity of the enclosure, as previously demonstrated. The shaft and the switch stack are now fitted with a centralisation plate to improve the accuracy and sensing distance between the switches and the cam. The patented touch set cams have to be the easiest of any switch box on the market. Setting of them is also completely tool free. One of the most common questions we get asked is how to set the switches and in this demonstration I'm going to show you how easy it is to do and it's totally tool free. The first thing to do is to put the actuator into the closed position and set one of the switches. Here we will set the bottom switch. This is done by lifting the touch set cam and rotating the striker in front of the striker point on the switch or sensor. This should be then verified using a meter. The meter should show a reading of zero and emit an audible sound. The next thing to do is to stroke the actuator into the open position and set the top switch. Again this can be done by depressing the cam, rotating the striker in front of the sensor and releasing so it locks back in place and then verifying the reading using the meter. Again you'll get a zero and an audible sound. The actuator can then be stroked, open and closed. For further information about the Westlock range of products available from Valve and Process Solutions, please contact us through the website where there is also a downloadable PDF of frequently asked questions.